Navy veteran Tanya Godinez is going to call the Hope Center home for the next nine weeks. She was raped by a man on her ship 26 years ago and has suffered from PTSD ever since. I'm here, I'm, I'm first, and uh, my gratitude is overflowing. About one in four women say they were sexually assaulted while serving in the military. As a result, most PTSD cases stem from those assaults. And sadly, some women say they deal with this trauma for decades. I always look at PTSD as kind of like having a full-time job where it's intense. This inpatient VA facility near Buffalo is only one of four in the nation for women only, dealing with everything from PTSD to depression to anxiety. It could be all sorts of physical things. You know, GI is affected and rashes and all sorts of things. Understandably, many women don't like seeking treatment in facilities that have focused almost exclusively on men, but the VA is changing that. I literally meet them at the front door. I walk them everywhere they need to to get used to the building. After years of isolation, coping with PTSD on her own, Navy veteran Amanda Krizanowski wants to make sure no other woman has to suffer alone. That all changed for her at the Hope Center. Now, I don't feel that way. And I'm, I'm proud to say that I did it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.